In this video, we'll be discussing your options for exporting images from Image Studio. So if you want to export the image that you currently have available, the first thing you do is come up here to the Image Studio uh, application button in the upper left hand corner and choose export. And then choose which type of export you would like to do. So if you will be doing something for say like a PowerPoint or a web presentation, you would choose uh, for digital media. Uh, if you will be printing uh, or if it, the image will be used in a journal, you choose the uh, image for prints. And then we also have some additional options, which I'll discuss here momentarily. And then I'll also discuss how to move Image Studio files from one work area to another. So the first option here is for digital media. And the way this is set up is that by default, it has uh, 150 DPI, which is appropriate for web or digital presentation. And normally you will want to leave this set to pixels and you will want to have it set to the original number of pixels. And so if you just click this reset pixels, then it will do that right there. Um, and most of the time for digital presentation, a PNG file will work perfectly fine. You, can, you do also have the option of JPEGs and TIFFs, but 150 DPI and uh, a PNG file is, uh, are the default settings for digital media. Now here uh, under the name, you can type in whatever name that you want. You can, uh, if you click the edit name, you can insert different fields onto here if you want to have a, a different default type of setting. And then you can also browse to wherever you would like the, the file to be saved. And the image export, it looks exactly like what you have here on the screen. So we're seeing all of the lane lines from this Western analysis and all of that and all of this empty space out here as well. If you do not want to have the annotations uh, or band markers or shapes or things like that shown during the export, you can click on the features button right here and that will hide everything. And also if you just want to use a black and white image, you can do that. Uh, if you do not need extra space out around here, uh, here under the image ribbon, we have this print and export area. And if I apply those, you will see that we have these crop marks and then I can modify them to only be the area that I want to have uh, for the export. And so now when I go to the exports, it looks just like what we have here. So there are no, none of the lane lines or band markers and only what is inside of that, uh, inside of those hash marks, just like that. Now for, um, for images for prints, that does change the default settings uh, to a, to either a 600 or uh, 300 DPI image and then the number of inches. And again, you'll want to reset that to the original number of inches. And the default is that it is a TIFF file, which is most appropriate for uh, publication within journals or if you are trying to uh, print something as well. And again, we have the same options as far as the naming convention goes, and then uh, choosing where the file is saved using this browse button right here. Additional options, uh, the, the current single image view is the same as uh, uh, these two options right here. Uh, if you want to export a group of images uh, into separate image files, if you have uh, several images highlighted down here, uh, you can uh, export them into their own individual files. Uh, if you have the color bar being shown on the image, that can be uh, exported as well. Uh, if you have several images selected, you can export them all as a single image file using this option. And then also movies. And movies is basically a slideshow of all of the images that you have selected. And uh, so that will uh, send, send that out into a movie file. Now, if you wish to move images from one work area to another, uh, you choose this Image Studio Files button. And so if you wish to move the Image Studio acquisitions from one computer to another, highlight whichever images you wish to move, and then you choose Zip File. And with that, it compresses all of the images into a single file, which you can then save to either a network drive or a flash drive or something like that. 
And then on the other computer, what you will do is come in and you want to import that Image Studio zip file. So if you have made any adjustments to the image as far as brightness and contrast or the histograms, or if you have started an analysis, uh, all of that information will be brought along with it. Uh, also, you have the option of moving the images to a different work area. So if you're on the same computer, but you simply want to move the images to another work area, again, you highlight the images that you wish to move and choose uh, to another work area, uh, choose the work area that uh, you wish to move them to, click OK, and then those files will be copied to that new work area. Thank you.